Okay, uh, first critical test in English, read 3. So, sulat natin. Ayan. Nawala yung black po. Pinoy liit. <laughs> Subscribe kayo guys. Okay, simula tayo. So, directions. Uh, read each item carefully. Write the letter of the correct answer on the blank provided. So, before each number, dito tayo. Okay, so, ano yung ginagawa nila? Yun yung point. Okay, English natin, English. <clears throat> so, may jam, may, lab, may bata. So, Jill had a big wig. Hindi. Sam and Jill will miss nope. Jill had a fat nope. Ben had a jug of jam. So, letter C. Ben had a jug of jam. Ja jug is yung container. Okay, so letter C. Okay. Three boys on a on a log. Kahoy. Log. Okay, there is C. Okay. Okay, punta tayo number three. May baboy. The pig has four legs. Tama? One, two, three, four. The pig has four legs. Two eyes, two ears, and one tail. So, legs. There D. Okay, number four. Which is a sentence? So, a uh, sentence is capital yung una. May exclamation mark sa end and complete yung statement. Either a question or whatever. So, napin natin. The big pig can hop. Period. O, tama di bang statement? Sinasabi dito is, yung malaking baboy, makahop. <laughs> Parang yun yung point niya. A bag inside the car. Small letter, so hindi. Small letter, small letter, so, ito yung sentence. Kasi period siya. So, letter A. Tapos nakakapital. Okay, number five. Which is a phrase? So, phrase lang. Parang statement. To bring a bag, a blue bag, bag inside the car. A bag is left inside the car. Hmm. Bag? O baka, type, typo lang, typo. Bag. A bag is left inside the car. Ah, uh, which is a phrase. So, kung phrase lang, ito parang verb. Ito description lang. Parang bag inside the car. Parang ito yung pwede, bag inside the car. But I'm not really sure, pero double check yun na lang. Remember, pag may mali ako, kayo na bahala. At least, alam nyo yung exam, yun lang, man, yun lang naman yung point is. Number six, sequence the story using pictures. Okay, so i-sequence natin. Ano yan? Okay, bird na lulunod. May bird, may dalawang bird. Hindi ko alam kung ano yun. Hindi yan. Hindi clear ito. Hindi clear. Oh my gosh. Hindi clear. So, I think yung nangyari is I think yung nangyari is may ibon. Ito. And then nalunod siya. And then sinalba siya. And then dalawang bird na. Diba? Like 3, 2, 1, 4, 3. O, oh, pwede. So, mayroong option. So, may bird na laglag siya sa tubig, parang nalulunod, tapos, hinuli siya, I mean, tinulungan siya, and then, nakarelease pa lang ganyan. 3, 2, 1, 4. Okay. Yeah, either way. Hindi clear yung picture eh. Move on. Rat, hot, cup. Also, any with an O. So, walang O ang the rest. So, B, map. Okay. Next. Number 8. Oh, ano yan? A pops out of the box, no? Nope. On the top of the map, ha? Huh? Jots on the pad, lots of dots. Okay, so it's obvious na nagsusulat siya. So, jots means nagsusulat. So, writing. Writing on the pad. So, it's a pad, it's a paper. So, letter C. Right. Move on. Wait, let me fix. Okay. Which statement is real? The pitcher has some water. Period. The pitcher talks to the crow. Nope. The pitcher doesn't talk. <laughs> the crow carries the talking pitcher. <laughs> nope. 
<laughs> the crow and the talking pitcher became friends. Oh my god. The pitcher has some water. Letter A. Okay, so which statement is realistic siguro? Like, okay, real. Okay naman. So, wala namang pitcher na nagsasalita. ba? Diba? Yung pitcher is water container ito. So, walang water container nagsasalita. Unless, ro- robotic siya. Number 10. Which statement is make-believe? Make-believe is fantasy. But may ganito? So, I'm not sure anong correction to. Anyway, which statement is make-believe? Yung gawa-gawa lang. The mat jumps on a cat. The cat jumps on the mat. Belly, ha? Belly the cat keeps his mat. Belly the cat. Billy the cat sings a song with his mat. Ha? Ah, okay. Since since most of these are make-believe, so alin dito yung hindi, ay, hindi lin dito yung totoo. Yun yung point niya. So, which statement is real? Kasi the only real one is the cat jumps on the mat. Yung mat, parang rug. So, yeah. Yep. Letter B. Okay. So, 11 to 13, uh, use the correct punctuation mark to end the sentence. Alright. I can cook an egg? Depende. <laughs> Depende, di ba? Like, pwede nga joyous siya. Nga like, I can cook an egg. Pwede rin period. I can cook an egg. Statement, di ba? So, it's either A or C. Pero, usually, pag mga ganitong statement, is letter A lang talaga. So, statement lang siya is, sentence, I can, I can cook an egg, period. Okay, number 12. Can you cook, can is a question. So, can you cook stone? So, question mark. It's obvious, question mark. Nagtatanong, so, question mark. Number 13. Oh no, oh, ayan. Yung oh no, yan na yung punctuation mark. Yan na yan. Oh no, the house is burning. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Alright, move on. Okay, there must be food for the ra- for the rainy days said the ants remember hindi makapagsalita yung, <laughs> yung ant <laughs> okay the character is hard working thrifty joyful and playful loving caring generous and kind hmm there must be food for the rainy days i think hard working and thrifty kasi dapat preservation tayo eh so thrifty siya and hard working kasi you know ants are hard working they always work find food and so on okay move on number 15 Wow! What a beautiful gown! <laughs> okay, exclamatory sentence. Tama? Yep. Kasi, may punctuation mark. Okay. So, ex- may exclamation mark pala. Sorry, exclamation mark. Okay, so, B. Okay, exclamatory sentence. Number 16. Who can bell? Who can bell the cat? So, question mark. Um, asking, a sen- asking sentence. Tama ba? Yep. A. Number 17. Sweep the floor now. Sweep is ordering someone. So, sweep the floor now at ngayon. So, this statement is ordering. So, imperative. Tama ba? Imperative. This blue bag is mine. Yeah. This blue. Telling sentence. Telling. Kasi... Uh, sinasabi niya eh, nasa, na kanya yung blue bag. So, telling sentence. The third one. Yeah, remember, if I'm wrong, kayo na mag-correct. Okay? So, let's move on to number 19. Ang layo. Fix ko lang. Okay, number 19. The crow, the traveler, the little red hen, the ant, and the grasshopper are the blank in the story. The characters. So, crow, traveler, little red hen. Sila yung characters. The crow felt thirsty. The grasshopper felt cold and hungry. The traveler had no food to eat. What element of the story is this? Problem. Tama, ba? Yan yung problem. So, hanapan nila yan ng solution. So, problem siya. Letter B. So, obvious na. Okay? Number 21. In the field, one summer day, a grasshopper hopped about 
chirp and sang. What elements of the story be ah? What elements of the story are the underlined words are okay? The underlined words are okay. okay. So in the field one summer day. So setting in the field one summer day. Setting yung lugar. So in the field oh ayan, one summer day. Tag init. Okay number twenty two. Arrange natin. Jets visits his grandparents' farm every summer. He gets up early each day with chores, with the chores. First, Jet feeds the cow. So, first, first, yan na yung una. One yan ang una. So, which is the correct? So, one yung una. Okay, so ito na lang yung choices natin. Tatlo na lang. Hindi na ito. Ano yung next? Next, he gathers. Oh, yeah, next. One, three. Next, he gathers eggs from the kitchen. Tingnan lang natin yung clue sa first. Then, anong after next? Pwede after that. Diba? After that, he carefully carries the egg. Oh, ayan. Carefully carries the eggs. So, hindi pwede nga. Ito yung mauna kasi nag-gather pa siya ng egg beforehand. So, gather eggs first, then carries the egg. So, one, three, four. One, three, four, then finally. Ayan, no, finally. So, last na yan. So, one, three, four, two. So, letter B. O, diba? Number 23. I give flowers to my mother. What are the nouns in the sentence? Flowers to my mother. Ano nga nang now? Oh my God, flowers and mother, di ba? Tama ba? Oh my gosh, nouns. Ano nga? Oh my gosh. Kakaya. Ano nga yung nouns? <laughs> What are the nouns in the sentence? Kaya na bahala dito ha. Give mother. No, give yan. Flowers mother. I give. I. Ano yung I? Okay. Move on tayo. I think... I think it's between I and flowers or flowers and mothers. Diba? It's A or B. Blank ko lang ha because I'm not sure. Ah, lipong. Sorry about this one. It's very easy. Down sa naman. <laughs> number 24 move on tayo wala, wala, wala na kayong pupulotin sa akin dyan number 24 she loves to read book in the library she, oh no, she loves to read books in the library the underlined word is a noun that refers to a library place so it, yan yung clue she loves to read book in the library So, the underlined word is a noun. So, sinabi na nga, nga noun siya. So, dito, mother, noun din yan. O, diba? <laughs> so, I think, flowers and mother ang noun. Tama, diba? Kasi give is a verb. Give is a verb. I, hindi na yan noun. So, I think, let's go with letter C with this one. Kung mali ako, i-correct nyo lang, guys. Very basic yan. Tap tapos nakalimutan ko pa epic. Pasensya na lang. Sorry about that. Let's move on daw. Number 25. Stories about birds are her favorites. Okay. The underlined word is a noun that refers to a huh. thing. Stories about birds are her favorite. Hindi naman event yan. Hindi naman place yan. Stories about birds. So, I think that's about a thing. So, okay. Number 26. Move on. I respect my teacher. Okay. Teacher is a name that refers to a person. Diba? 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 Teacher. Ano yung teacher? Diba person yan? Usually. Okay. Usually talaga. Uh, we celebrate Christmas every 25th of December. Christmas is a noun that refers to... Ayan. Christmas, it's an event. Araw yan eh. So, it's an event. It's a day. It's a... Oh yeah. It's an event. Oh, si ba? Christmas. There are five blank inside the house. Ah, okay. So, spelling. Huh? Parehas, oh. Ah, I think tinagdagan lang ng... Ayan, oh. Kinorek ng teacher. So, dalawang S dapat to. So, pianos is spelled P-I-A-N-O-S. Pianos. Since five, we add an S. And hindi siya E-S. So, letter A. Pianos. That's the correct spelling of... And the plural of piano. Okay. Number 29, I, okay, I read many blank to learn many things. So, I read many with many, 
S na yan. Plural na yan. So, I read many books. Ayan na naman. Kakamali na naman, oh. So, I think the other one, let's try na lang, let's say, dalawang S yan. Oh, so, letter D yung tama, diba? So, anyway, C or D yung sagot kasi hindi na correct ng teacher. Number 30. The 30 blank are donated by Colgate Philippines. Colgate, sponsor nyo ako. <laughs> anyway, the 30 blank are donated by Colgate Philippines. Brushes, brush, brushes, brush. So, plural ng brush is add lang ES. Yung toothbrushes, yung name niya. So, letter A. Alright. Kung oh, tayo kung may meron pa. Okay, number 31. Okay, mabun tayo number 31. Fix na natin. James Yap is a good basketball blank. Which, ano yan? Bend, of wor- bend words fits to the blank. L? L? Which? Never mind. Uh, James Yap is a good basketball player. Planner, planter, plumber. So, James Yap, basketballista siya, obvious naman. Kilala naman siya ng mga tao dito sa Pinas. So, player yung sagot. Basketball player siya. Okay, so player. Alright, number 32. There are beautiful blank inside the vase. So, ano yung usually nilalagay sa vase? Flowers. So, there are beautiful flies, flames, flowers, flutes. Flowers. So, usually, flowers nilalagay. So, ang sagot natin, flowers. So, Darren Espanto, yung singer. Tama, di ba? Uh, is a good singer. Oh, tama. <laughs> What kind of noun is the underlined word? Darren Espanto. It's a proper noun. Tama, di ba? I think it's a proper noun. Okay. I am not sure if I'm wrong. Correct me na lang, guys. Number 34. My parents went to Cebu for a vacation. The underlined word is a blank noun. Underlined word. My parents. Hmm. Come on. I am not sure kung proper yan. Hindi naman yan singular. Okay, I think, let's go with A. Common. Kasi hindi siya specific. Star. What is the meaning consonant blend a star so spell natin na ayan o oh, ayan ano yan sa star di ba yan anong consonant blend ya st 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 so st star rd ayan o oh, nakasulat na pala oh, ayan o oh. oh, di ba star ano yan letter letter d alright so we ha- 1 to 40 lang okay 36 to 40 i-read natin yung story Read the story and answer the questions that follow. Sige, lagyan natin ng magandang tone. <clears throat> okay. It was Saturday morning. Nathalia and Andrea helped their mother at home. Nathalia cleaned the house. Andrea washed the dishes. Dishes, mali oh. Then she took care of the baby. Nathalia and Andrea are good children. They make their mother happy. All right. Number 36. Who are the good children in the story? So, sino yung characters? So, Nathalia and Andrea. Tama, di ba? We have the names. Nathalia and Andrea. Okay, let's go with um, letter A. Tama. Okay. I'm oh, sorry. What that? Kasi Nathaniel and Andre. No. Nathalia. No. Andre. No. Nathaniel. No. Mali. So, letter A yung so. Okay, move on tayo. Number 37. When did the story happen? Okay, number 37. When did the story happen? Okay. So, yung una pa lang, it was Saturday morning. So, Saturday morning. Ayan. Letter C. Saturday morning. It was Saturday morning. Letter C. Alright. Number 36. Where did the story happen? Sa kanilang bahay, di ba? At home yan eh. O, ayan o, at home. Natalia and Andrea helped their mother at home. O, ayan, sa bahay nila. At home, in the house, in the playground. So, at home is in the house. Diba? A house can be your home or it's just a house. What kind of children are Natalia and Andrea? Wala na yan. Wala na yan. What kind of children are Natalia and Andrea? Good children. Tama, diba? They are good children and happy si mother nila sa kanila. So, letter A. They are good children. How did they how did they make their mother happy? By being kind, courteous, helping one another, by being generous. Mm, I think 
by helping one another. Tama, di ba? Kasi, yung trabaho is si Natalia naglinis ang house, si Andrea nang ng, ng hugas, and then, they took care of the baby, parang ganun. Nagtulong-tulungan sila. So, helping one another. There is C. Alright. So, that's it. So, guys, subscribe kayo. Subscribe! Click nyo yung subscribe button. Thank you! Bye-bye!